Hello, my fellow MS DOS gaming enthusiasts. I'm a big fan of Duke Nukem 1 and Duke Nukem 2 from the early 90s. I still play this on my original hardware every now and then. Part 1, but also part 2, of course. I might even say that these are some of my favorite platformers ever made. Dude, my opinion? I love the original Duke Nukem 1. I played this so much back in the day, I knew these levels inside out. Look what you can do with this weapon. Wow, <laughs> nice. But you might have heard Duke Nukem 1 and 2, but also Duke Nukem 3D and the PlayStation version and Total Meltdown is getting a remaster and it's coming out this week for the Evercade system. So I was talking with some guys over at Blaze Entertainment and turns out they wanted me to have an Evercade system so I could be one of the first to play the remastered Duke Nukem. I think it's in here, so let's have a look. An Evercade VS retro gaming console the premium pack. It comes with all kinds of games, 18 of them including one of them being Burger Time, arcade classic. And it comes even with two controllers, it runs on cartridges and you can just collect them all. And before I even started collecting the guys over at Blaze Entertainment, they even send me some games, not only the Nukem, so let's find out which games they also included with this awesome console. So the first game that they included is the Duke Nukem Collection number one. This one comes with Duke Nukem 1 and 2 from the early 90s, remastered, but also with Total Meltdown. Hail to the King with 60 frames per second widescreen remasters of Duke Nukem's first two adventures. I'm so looking forward to checking those out because, come on, 60 frames a second, the original barely even made it to 12 frames a second, so that's such an improvement. That's really going to add some playability to this fantastic title. But also, Duke Nukem 3D, Total Meltdown, that's great stuff. They also included Duke Nukem Time to Kill, Land of the Base, and the Game Boy Advance version. This one comes on a cartridge called Duke Nukem Collection 2. But since they know what games I like, they even added more games. So, so they also sent me Home Computer Heroes Collection 1. This one includes seven modern titles uh, that originally were programmed to the Commodore 64, the MSX2, but also the Amiga. Good Boy Galaxy, Witch and Wiz. Two games on one cartridge. They know I'm a big fan of platformers and puzzling games, so I love these indie titles. This is fun because this one features Aero the Acrobat. I totally forgot about Aero the Acrobat. I played it on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System back in the day, but I borrowed it from somebody, so I haven't played it ever since. So. I'm really looking forward to see this one and the other five games of the Servants of Collection. And talking about a cinematic puzzle platformer in a dystopic future, Vol Void is also a game that came out for the Evercade. I haven't played it yet, but this is on my backlog. And now that I have this console and the game on a cartridge, I should really check this out really soon. And talking about awesome games that you don't find on other consoles, here are some Indie Heroes Collection number one homebrew software, typical games that you find on uh, itch.io. And I always love these games because they're hidden gems. And the last, but certainly not the least, three games of Worms on one cartridge. I didn't even know that Worms Armageddon and Worms Blast are ported to the Evercade, so 
That's fantastic. Now I can play Worms Blast again. All right, this is like the best start for an Evergate collection right here. But I'm really stoked to see what that Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remaster on 60 FPS and widescreen resolution is all about. So let's unwrap this thing and get it running. It comes with a console, two controllers, power supply, two cartridges, and of course a quick start guide. Let's open it up. Oh, that's nice. It comes with a sleeve ready to play together. Whoa, that's a nice presentation. Look at that. Wow, it's, it's really smaller than I expected it to be. It, it looks cute. Oh, so this is the main console, the Evercade VS. Kinda reminds you of a Nintendo Entertainment System. And it can house two cartridges at once. Its design is so sleek. I love it. Oh, 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 there's another layer of goodies. The quick start guy. Two more awesome cartridges. And another layer. Wow, these controllers are like a whole new level of retro. Something I've never seen before. This is a unique design. USB and it's a 3 meter cord. Oh, this is well above my expectation. The controller feels really good. No, not one, but of course two controllers. Wow. And the power cable. The box is empty. Let's hook this up to the TV. All right, so connecting it is really easy. All you need to do is put in the AC, put in the uh, HDMI, and boom, you're set to go. And of course, don't forget to plug in one of the controllers. All right, let's see what's in here. It's still sealed, so let's carefully open it up with scissors like that. So that's what a cartridge looks like, even with a manual. Oh, look at the concept art. Whoa, this is great stuff. All right, this is the moment. All right, here we go. Let's rock. What? <laughs> oh, this is great. Wow, playing it on this resolution, on this screen, with this frame rate, it's a game changer. 
All right, that was just a little sneak peek of Duke Nukem Collection 1. Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remastered on the Evercade. But I cannot really show a lot of this game yet, and that's because it's not out yet. But be sure, if you want to see more, to join me on the live stream this Monday, because I'm going to check this one inside out. Monday, 8 o'clock Central European time. Be there.